If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf with another spoiler from Aether Revolt for you. This is the 1 mana instant Fatal Push. Very simply, destroy target creature if it has CMC 2 or less. No, it can't be regenerated clause because they're not really doing that anymore. But with Revolt, a new mechanic in this set, uh, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, more on that in a second, then instead it destroys any uh, creature CMC 4 or less. So in eternal formats, notwithstanding EDH, that hits pretty much everything outside of Tron, right? I mean, that's a little too far. It hits everything outside of Delve Creatures and Tron. This is uh, cheap. It's instant speed. This can go into... Uh, I think if you want to run in Modern, in Legacy, in Vintage, that this could really work. Uh, it's important to note that fetch lands turn on Revolt, and I'm sure that everyone knows that at this point, but just in case, yeah, fetch lands. So, play a fetch land, pass turn, my opponent casts a Glistener Elf on turn one. Fetch, and then Fatal Push it. I mean, it, you would kill it anyway, so that may not be the greatest example. Say, I don't know, um... Uh, not Edge Champion. That, that's often going to have protection at this point in the game. Why am I just all of a sudden having a hard time thinking of applicable... Cre Vendillion Click. I don't know. First thing that came to mind. Uh, then this would take care of the Vendillion Click. Just, just a thought. Now, this hits essentially everything in Vintage, other than Blightsteel Colossus, Grizzlebrand, which those are getting put into play through uh, Oath and Tinker anyway, so you weren't going to do much about them. Swords to Plowshares is still going to be the only one uh, that can work there, but against Merfolk, against Delver decks, against Affinity, uh, this gives you something low to the ground that you can do uh, very early on. It's not very mana intensive, but then again, Vintage is a format where Mental Misstep is a card, and is quite a card. Legacy doesn't have Mental Misstep, so maybe Fatal Push could give uh, the bug decks, the Sultai decks, another tool that might get them there, might push them, uh, say, Sultai Delver, Bug Delver, uh, might push it back into prominence. Because this plays right into their game plan. Or, for instance, if you are a Shardless Bug deck, uh, usually, against a lot of decks, uh, against those that do have creatures, not Storm, for instance, not Mud, you're going to be perfectly fine cascading into a fatal push. Um, yeah, and uh, doesn't work on Eldrazi actually, and with Eldrazi's new prominence, maybe not, but it hits in fact. In modern, that's I think where this is the most powerful because modern is awfully low to the ground right now. Um, it's salient to me, it's prominent to me because it's my main deck, but Infect is huge, but also Death Shadow Zoo, Affinity, Zoo in general, Burn. Uh, these are decks that would be hit by it, and on the other hand, the Delve decks will get another, will get a shot in the arm. They'll get uh, a boost that I think they've needed. Again, the decks that benefit the most from this, or the decks that aren't hit, I should say, are those with Delve Creatures and Tron. Uh, Tron getting Eye of Ugin banned means that they lost that powerful endgame tool, and so this gives them sort of an indirect buff, giving a tool that doesn't work against them. Uh, and as for Delve creatures, we haven't been seeing too many Tassikers and Gurmog Anglers running around lately. Uh, I know in my personal, somewhat odd meta, admittedly, uh, the Ape, the uh, Hooting Mandrels, there we are, has seen a bit of play, but Mm, no, not real, not really, not widespread. This might give them the tool to come back a bit, and especially with Tassiger, uh, who is just value in the later game, just value and more value. Uh, when you get to five mana, you can start abusing it. You can, well, okay, you know how that works. You know how Tassiger works. I don't have to explain that to you. Again, in all of these formats, fetch lands make this card go from, eh to 
It kills Kalitas. It kills Huntmaster of the Fells. It kills Sage Rhino. It kills Olivia. Are you kidding? This kills... What doesn't this kill? The ones I mentioned before. Yeah, so actually, as good of a tool as this would be in uh, Jund and Junk or Obzon, it can also be used against them. They don't usually have any creatures that are out of range. Just first thoughts. Lastly, it seems to me that, and just my impression, not, not my opinion necessarily, just my impression, uh, that Infect is kind of on the verge of getting a tool or two banned. And so if that happens to be the case, if that happens, Fatal Push, or rather I should say before that happens, Fatal Push is a card that fights against Infect so well that they might be taking the first let's see we can put you in check uh, method. Similarly to Rending Volley um, coming down before Splinter Twin was banned, it seemed to me like that was the kind of card that was printed to keep Splinter Twin in check. Maybe it wasn't enough. Well, apparently it wasn't enough. They banned Splinter Twin. Uh, but it seems to me that Fatal Push is going the same route. I can't see them banning Glistener Elf. I can't see them banning Ink Moth Nexus. That seems silly. But something like a Become a Mints, maybe. Uh, something like Gitaxian Probe, maybe. These are tools that actually don't just benefit Infect. They benefit uh, Death Shadow Zoo as well, which is another... Uh, Pretty quick, obviously. Pretty quick deck in the format. Just my thoughts. Uh, it seems to me to be the case that they are taking the route where they, they'll try to see if they can keep the deck in check by shifting sideboard answers and mainboard answers up to fight against it, and then if that doesn't work, well, we'll give it the ban hammer. So, well, those are my thoughts, and I hope to see you later. Take care, Magic Community. And actually, I do have one more quick question for you. You may have seen that in some of my more recent blogs, vlogs, I'm using gameplay footage in the background. Do you have a preference, especially if you're a subscriber to the channel? Do you like seeing that? Do you like uh, seeing me or some other video like this? Would you like a still background? Would you like gameplay footage of, you know, paper magic in the background? Do you have a preference? Is there something I missed? Anyway, let me know. Take care. Bye-bye.